Liars. This is a story where the title doesn't tell the entire thing, but it is the basic premise. It's about a guy named Jimmy, and he loves to joke around. Well, one day he makes up some MILF joke, and it pisses this other guy named Brett off. He gets so pissed off that he gathers up all of his friends who don't like Jimmy at all. They corner him in the science room at school, and they hit him in the face with some acid. Now, this acid not only burns like hell, it makes it look like his face is starting to melt off. The image that you're looking at right now, that's supposed to be Jimmy. Oh, God. Well, anyhow, the paramedics arrive, and the guys that did it tell them a complete lie. They say that Jimmy was in the science room by himself, and they walked by and saw him spill the acid. Since Jimmy can't talk, he can't argue against their story. Well, he gets out of the hospital, and this is where all hell is going to start breaking loose. Now, when he gets out, the only way he responds to anyone is by saying, LIARS! Brett receives a package one day with a VHS tape in it, and on the package it says, For You. He pops it in an old VCR, and it's a crudely recorded home video. The cameraman is unknown, and he doesn't speak. Not zooming out a little bit, Brett sees that it's in a basement. Well, next he sees a guy who's naked, blindfolded, and has a gag in his mouth. Another man shows up from behind the camera wearing gloves. Pulls out he pulls out the gag. Okay. Without any more bullshitting around, it's Jimmy. That's the guy who has the gloves on the cameraman. He's the cameraman. Um anyway, after Jimmy pulls the gag out, the kids start begging the kid starts begging him to let him go. He also names off every kid that was involved in the incident and says that he already that Jimmy already forced him. To butcher them all. Yeah. Really fucked up shit going on here. I wouldn't want to fuck with this guy. Well, Jimmy forces him to get up, and then he leads him out the door. That's off screen. Brett sees the word liar cut into his friend's back. The camera then cuts out temporarily, and when it starts up again, Jimmy and Brett's friend are outside. His friend starts yelling and then there's some nasty crunching noise. Then the words then the word liars is blurted out and the camera is abruptly cut off again. Brett flips his shit and attempts to run, but his efforts are for naught when he's knocked over and falls backward. The last thing he hears is liars as Jimmy pours acid down his face. This is a creepypasta that has a whole lot of suspense and a lot of buildup. It's kind of like a slasher film, but not in the one-by-one -one tracking down and killing people with a knife. In more of a pre-planned and seeking vengeance kind of way. And the video camera thing kind of made me think of the movie The Last Broadcast or the uh, uh, Blair Witch Project. Can't believe I forgot that. Is this a good creepypasta? Well, it depends, on, it depends on the reader, but if you ask me, I say it is. It's got suspense, it builds tension pretty well, and it's overall just pretty damn scary. As I said before, I wouldn't want to fuck with this guy. It's always the funny guys that seem to be the most nasty. You ever notice that? <laughs>